Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour of Forger and in this video I'm going to show you how to figure out what scenarios are available for a custom map. Where you can find the scenario IDs for that custom map and also we're going to talk about um, where you find ordinary mod IDs, so not um, map mod IDs, but you, you probably know that already. So. It's probably easy if I show you. So if you go into the workshop, for example, and on your community server, you wanted to install Calvoy Island. All right, nice nice little island. Good for sort of small unit operations. Um, what what scenario IDs um, can you use with this? Well, if you double click, sorry, if you just click on the mod and go into the overview, you'll see at the bottom the scenarios that are, in, that are included with the mod. So the mod creator for this particular mod has included uh, Sandbox, which is Game Master, free for all, um, with various starting points. So Calvoy Bridge, Calvoy Ham, and Varvik Haven. Haven, I guess that is, isn't it? Um, so they're the scenarios that are included with with um, the map, with the vanilla, the vanilla version of the map, if you like. However, doesn't that doesn't mean that's all you can use with that particular map? So if we were to take another example say for example Mogadishu uh, where, where's Mogadishu here we go Mogadishu so if we go into Mogadishu we can see that the base Mogadishu map just comes with Game Master so it's just you know um, you can spawn in and you could you could spawn in your buddies and you could spawn in some enemies and you could do that but other people have created extra bits so Mogadishu what we can see here is that someone's created a Mogadishu conflict mod. So if you were to uh, put that on your server as well, you could have Mogadishu with conflict. Always check the dependencies though, because as you can see here with this one, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of conf lot of dis dependencies needed to make Mogadishu work in this particular style for um, for, for this particular mod there. Okay, so let's let's take a step back a bit and let's look at well, where do we get these IDs from? So let's go back to Calvoy. I like using Calvoy as an example because it's a really nice small file. <laughs> and let's say on our particular server we want to install the sandbox scenario. So where do we get this from? Now at the moment, as of the end of April 2024, it's a little bit complicated to find. But first things first, you must have subscribed to or enabled the mod and it must be downloaded. Okay. And then what we've got to do, we've got to go onto our computer. Um, and it'll probably be in your C drive. So you go into Windows C and you'll want to go into Users. And you'll want to go whatever your username is on your PC. And then you'll want to go to, uh, where is it? My Games. So documents, there it is. <laughs> go to documents. Then you go into my games, and then you go into Armor Reforger. So if you look at the top of the screen now, you can kind of see that. So it's C users, your username, documents, my games, Armor Reforger, and then we want to go into server conf. No, you don't want to go to server config. So you want to go into add-ons, and here we have. This isn't. The, <sighs> Well, this kind of is the mod, uh, but this isn't where the game sits. So, as you can see, recently they've improved the way that Rama Forger saves the mods, and then it has the mod ID, not the scenario ID, but the mod ID and the name of the mod uh, in the title, which is really good. Which means that we can find what we need relatively easily. So we know that our mod that we're looking for is called uh, Calvoy. And so we can just HIJ, is it there? So Cowboy Island, so there it is. We could search for the scenario ID as well. Sorry, the, the mod ID as well. So we go into Cowboy, and then what we're after is the server data.json file. And we edit that with Notepad or wherever you want. And what you'll see is this section here. This is what we're interested in. So these are the scenarios that are included with the map. So as you can see, we've got sandbox, free for all with the th in the three different places. So that game ID there is the one we're interested in. That there. So what you would do is you would then go over to your um, Nitrado server, for example, and then you would go to your config files 
and then near the top where it says scenario ID you would paste that like so remember to leave the comma and that is now the Calvoy sandbox which is on there now remember you're gonna to have to install the Calvoy mod as well um, and you know where you get that from is very easy because you can just um, in your mod manager you have Calvoy on and space and T72 I have here but if you go up to this little jigsaw piece here and go to JSON it has the code that you need so if you copy that to a clipboard go to your favorite text editor um, and just paste it on a blank page you can just take the bit that you need which is the Calvoy Island bit go back to your server and in the mod section so in between the square brackets you could paste in that now remember if it's the last mod you don't have that comma after the last bit and then there would be a square bracket with a comma after it and you would you would paste that in there and then you'd save restart and you'd have Calvoy Island with the Calvoy sandbox um, uh, scenario running let me give you another example just to kind of to kind of finish this off as well though so if we look at Mogadishu for example so there's Mogadishu if we go into there if we go into server data.json there we go so there is the um, Mogadishu uh, game master as you can see and there's the scenario ID that we would need to copy and paste into our server so that's how you do it. What I am going to do is I will create a feedback tra tracker ticket for the devs because they shall know we've got something, got something going on here. Well, what should happen, I think, is in here where you click the... Um, oops, I'm in the wrong spot. In here where you click on the JSON, I think what you should be able to do is when you click go in here and you go into this, the different scenarios, you should be able to get that code from that point, I think. There should be a way of doing that. So there we go. That, my friends, is how you find the scenario IDs and the mod IDs for your custom terrain maps on your Armour of Forger community server and also how you find the mod IDs for ordinary mods too. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And, of course, I'll see you again soon.